Okay, this next bullet is another one. I bought this mold a long time ago and I cast a few bullets with it. Alright. And I I don't even remember why I bought it or whatever. I believe what it was. I accomplished years ago getting a cast bullet load for the Carcano. And then I had the 6.5 Dutch and the JJ2 and uh, a few others. And they're tricky. Their groove diameters are deep, but you cannot chamber or get a bullet larger than 264 into the gun. This is where you're going to run into problems sometimes. So I believe I got this bullet mold, hold on a second here, to kind of address the problem with these different calibers. I was already successful with the 6.5 Carcano. And how this unusual bullet works is if you look here at the bands, okay, this is 270, 269, 268, 268. 267, 266. <clears throat> now, granted, fine and dandy, and I believe I did size these to the, yep, 270 on the tail end. Okay, so what this would do when you take a case is if you can get the 270, because you're going to have to stretch the neck out, and that would sit in there. Uh, having that 266, 267 that may chamber, and if not, you could seat this thing all the way in, and this here at 262 should get in the barrel of any rifle. Plus you have, but see the only kicker is, this here at 270, okay, you're talking 4,000 difference. And it's tapered. I don't really know how you would crimp this or get the correct neck tension with it. Okay, this could be a problem. Then also, even if you did get it in there, squeeze the neck back down, when you fired it and the 270 came, you know, it might have a problem expanding in the chamber. You know, it may cause issues. I don't know. I've never used this bullet, but we're going to see if we can find an application for it or something. The pretty neat little things that taper on there. You know, I'm not quite sure why I got them. I believe I got them for another 6.5, not the Carcano. Because we had issues uh, with the groove diameter being so large and trying to get a cast bullet to hug that. And let's see what we weigh. And also these are all wrinkly and cruddy because of the bad... Uh, 148.40. Mm -hmm. One forty-nine. Alright, so it's about a 150. We're about there. So that's another one for you guys. 270, 151 round nose CB, BB5, NOE bullet molds. Here's an idea. You can go on their site and find this drawing and it gives you all the specifics. And you can make all the calculations you need yourself. But that's another one. I may, I don't know about this, or when I'm going to get around to doing something. Once I get the other guns out and start fooling around, I may get this up and try to do something with it.